Hi folks, my name is Kent Hovind. I was a high school science teacher 15 years and I love studying about the Bible and what the Bible teaches in regard to science. Hi everybody, my name is James. Welcome to California High Desert Preacher. Today's video is going to be discussing God said very clearly that he made everything in six days. Now, how could you show the age of the earth? Well, I think the very best evidence of what some people call a young earth is God said he did it in six days and nothing died until Adam sinned. And Jesus said that was the beginning of the creation. So the best evidence of a young earth is the Bible. The Bible, certainly the dates in Genesis 5 and Genesis 11 clearly add up to about 6,000 years for the total age of the earth, 4,000 BC. That's never been refuted. Some people don't want to believe that, but the best evidence I think of what they call, I don't think 6,000 is young, I think that's pretty old, but the best evidence of a 6,000 year old earth is the Bible itself. But then you can look at almost any branch of science. You can look at the, the science of living things, biology, and you'll see that the population of the earth today is growing, but if you do the math and go backwards in time, you can make everybody on the planet from eight people getting off of Noah's Ark 4,500 years ago. If man's been here for millions of years, why aren't there a whole lot more people? Population is a great indicator that man has not been here for millions of years. When you look at the genetic load that's increasing in the gene pool of people, you say, wow, this can't have been going on for a long time, not millions of years. You can look at the sun. The sun is burning up its fuel source. Obviously it's burning and it's shrinking because of it's burning up its fuel. And it is not only shrinking, it is throwing off 5 million tons a second. It's losing weight. Well, if your son's been losing weight for billions of years, if you get back in time in your imagination, the sun would be much heavier, making gravity stronger, sucking all the planets in. You cannot have the fine balance between earth and sun with it just being in the right habitable zone for millions and billions of years while the sun's losing weight so fast. Well, you look at the moon. The moon's going around the earth, but the moon's getting further away from the earth. Okay, well that means it used to be closer. If you bring the moon back in closer, you get higher tides. And at some point you get too close and they snap together like two magnets, called the inverse square law. You can look at the stars in space, you can look at the living things on earth, and look at the earth itself. The earth is spinning, but it slows down. I give about 30 different scientific indicators for a young earth on my seminar part one on drdino.com. But to me, the very best evidence that the earth is 6,000 years old is exactly what God, who, he's the guy who did it. He said that was the beginning when he made Adam and Eve. Matthew 19, 4, Mark 10, 6. So I would encourage you to read that Bible, never been disproven, and think about it. Man, this is what it says. Maybe God is right. Maybe the earth is 6,000 years old. Has plenty of time to accomplish everything I know of on the planet if you allow one big flood in there to make the canyons. All right, thank you for joining us. Three sixteen did not come to the world but to save us.